All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry. We're back for another Windows 10 command prompt tutorial with the check disk command. What do you use it for? You use it to scan your hard drives and other memory devices on your computer to see if they have any bad physical components that are not really writing or reading correctly to indicate bad sectors, which generally means that whatever device it is is starting to wear out and fail. So you should probably go ahead and get that replaced ASAP so nothing bad happens. So all you have to do to access this command is open up Windows Command Prompt in administrator mode. Just type in CMD prompt into your Windows search bar and then right click the icon for the command prompt and tell it, give me that admin powers. Once it's open, all you have to do is type in check disk without the vowels. So it's CHKDSK space slash question mark in order to bring up all of the commands. If you don't type in the slash question mark, this will actually just start performing a scan on your primary hard drive of your computer, and that might not be the one that you want to scan right off the bat. I did one a little bit ago. All it does is reads and writes all over in different chunks of your hard drive to make sure everything is kosher, along with checking indexed files and other various technically sounding things. And then at the bottom, it tells you if it detects anything bad, and generally, if you're looking for a specific bit of information, you know which one of these you want to pay attention to down at the bottom of this list. In my case, I want to scan my thumb drive because it's been acting funny lately. So I'm going to type uh, check disk space capitalize I colon, which is how I denote which one of the drives I want to scan for. I have to make sure it's capitalized with the colon space. Do I want this to do anything else while I'm scanning it? Do I want it to fix things? Or do I just want to get a quick sense of if there's something broken with this drive? I think I just want this to scan regularly, so I'll hit enter. And this will just tell me, um, warning, if the slash F parameter is not specified, it'll just do read only mode, or it'll just check things but not make changes, which is fine. I'm completely fine with it not making changes without telling me. And all it says here is because I just recently formatted this drive, there's not really any files on record for it to process. There's nothing hiding in the background. Everything's been removed from this drive and written over. And down here at the bottom, it says zero bad sectors, which means none of this drive is having a problem. I guess my issue was just I formatted it funny going between my PC and my Mac. So maybe we want to do a fancier sounding repair. We can do things down here like scan for NTFS only drives. It can run an online scan of the volume to make sure everything looks good. We can also do spot fixes, which will do little tiny fixes on different parts of the volume to make sure everything's okay. So maybe what do I want to do? Reevaluates bad clusters on the volume, but I don't actually have any bad clusters to check for. So maybe we'll just run it in slash F mode to fix anything that might be wonky in it, just to be sure. So we'll go to check disk, space, capitalize I, colon, slash F. And if you notice up here, it actually tells you the order to place all the commands you want to use at the same time. Since all I wanted to do is fix anything that might be bad, I'll just hit enter again. I probably won't see anything fancier than I did last time. Again, because there's nothing wrong with it, there was nothing to fix on the drive, so it just scanned it, reported back, and said, you're good to go, Larry. You're, you're just being paranoid about your thumb drive. That's all you need to do. And that, in a nutshell, is how you utilize the Windows check disk command in order to make sure that your drives are healthy. If you're curious about any of the rest of these commands, they've got a lot of great informationals available from both Microsoft and other third parties that educate about IT-related stuff. So feel free to look those up for further, more in-depth information. Some of this stuff can be a little bit uh, technical and dry, especially when you're not necessarily used to explaining the terminology and concepts on the fly for a command prompt tutorial. So if you have any questions or comments, throw those in the screen, down in the comment section below. Till next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and toodles.